I love to talk about the immense potential in the future of uh, logistics in e-commerce. So if you simply take a small grocery shop or a small, uh, uh, even a stationary shop that has been only serving to the customer base of two to three kilometers around the shop's area. And if you look at this same shop's potential today for be able to sell his small inventory to the whole country, you can immediately imagine what kind of a opportunity this small shop is suddenly going to have. Earlier his whole catchment was two kilometers. Now in a country like Sri Lanka, it becomes you know, two to three hundred kilometers. The moment it became from two kilometers to two to three hundred kilometers, what comes into play? Logistics. If you have the last mile delivery service for e-commerce at a world class level in any country, that will immediately boost that small shop's potential 100 times. Right? So that is, that is simply the opportunity of e-commerce. E-commerce is no longer businesses like uh, Kapruka that will go in and uh, you know, sell its stuff. It's also now about the small shops on the street, the, the malls, everybody selling on platforms. So you know you are very familiar with how Uber Eats works. Uh, earlier, it used to be just, again, doing this two kilometer, the walk-in customers to restaurants. Now the whole province is available to them. Now when it is important that we as logistics providers and logistics players give a great service. It's no longer about like it being a post office where you pick up a package and drop it in somebody's doorstep. It is about doing a white glove, a quality delivery service. Because as e-commerce and these industries excel, the price of the product, the quality of the product is going to be a normal thing. Like when you order black shoes, you are going to expect black shoes. You can't deliver black shoes and say, look, I did a great job. You expect that anyway by default. Then the differentiator between you and another competitor would be that service level. So when I say service level, it's about uh, that phone call you make, the delivery driver makes that phone call about, uh, okay, are you at home? The way they handle the cash on delivery. The, uh, is he going to carry enough change? Is he willing to go up an elevator to a fifth floor to do a delivery? Those little things really starts to matter uh, in the logistics. So I, w I want to focus on the last mile part of logistics because that's what I am really into. Uh, but the potential of logistics when it comes to shipping, airlines, of all this is very immense. But what I'm good at talking about is the last mile logistics, and it is going to by far grow by 10x, in my opinion, within the next two to three years. Thanks. I must congratulate ISMM for completing 50 years here in Sri Lanka. It's a big deal to uh, go that kind of a journey for an institute. Um, and without a proper body uh, for any industry, uh, that industry won't thrive in a country. So again, congratulations to ISMM for completing 50 years, and wish you all the best.